What's going on anyone? I'm Sir James from GamerFusion.com and I'm here to give you guys my review on the PlayStation Pulse wireless gaming headset. Now I know this headset is not fairly new or anything like that. However, I felt like giving you guys my own personal review on these headsets and letting you guys know if it's worth getting or not. So first off, we're going to take a quick look around what the packaging looks like see all the items that are included within the packaging and of course going over different sections such as build quality microphone and so on so first off let's go ahead and go over the price and the packaging now the price when it originally came out was for hundred and fifty dollars which is fifty dollars more than the previous version which i forgot to mention that they do have another version of these headsets which are about fifty dollars cheaper however based on everyone else's reviews that i've seen online Everyone prefers the newer one for pretty much a lot of different reasons compared to the old one. So just letting you guys know what basically the community thinks overall. Now like I said the original price when these came out were $150 however these started to go down in price. For example Best Buy is now selling these for $130, GameStop is selling these for $130 and so on. Now for me I happen to got mine on an online retailer known as Amazon.com for the price of $90 which is a really good deal. So if you happen to be on the market looking for these particular headsets I highly recommend you try an online retailer first to see if you can snag a really good deal such as I have. So here is what the box will look like. Really bright and colorful and it does stand out so I do like the packaging. I know there's people out there who enjoy uh, you know, styles of packaging and this is one that I do enjoy. Now what's cool about these headsets is that you know, even though it says PlayStation 3 right here on the box, you could use these for the PlayStation 3, even the new PlayStation 4 which I've been using mine with. You could also use it with any device that features an audio jack like a PlayStation or Vita, an iPod, like I said, anything with a headphone jack you could use these headsets for. So first off, let's go ahead and take a look at what's included inside the box. You do get this little USB wireless adapter dongle, which you'll use with your PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. You also get this audio cable pretty good in terms of length obviously I'm not completely arm's length but uh, you do have a good you know size cord right there but you use with basically you know hooking these up with anything with an audio jack in it so if you want to use these with your PlayStation Vita and so on pretty simple as that and of course you also get the headset minus the stand because that's a different product for something else but you do get the headsets which look really nice and they're extremely well done so I guess first off, since I'm completely new to uh, doing a headset review, I figured we'll go ahead and start with the build quality. How does the build quality feel? Does it feel like it's cheaply made? Does it feel like it's heavy duty? Something that's going to last a while? Because if you're going to fork up the extra cash, the build quality and pretty much everything else along with that better be good overall. I mean, like I said, for the price you pay, the higher the price you expect, the higher the quality. So let's go ahead and start with the build quality. Now build quality all together, if I were to give it a rating out of 1 out of 5, I would definitely give these a full 5 out of 5. Because to me, these don't feel like it's cheaply made, these feel like it's been taken care of, felt like it's meant something to last you a while. Like over here, I'm, based, I'm pretty much going at the limit of how much I'm comfortable with of stretching these out. I feel like if I go any further, I may do some type of damage to these headphones, which I do not want to do. So these work with anyone with a small, medium, and large heads. And of course, for me, I'm the person with a medium-sized head with large ears. Which I'll go into the reason why I mentioned my ears within this video. So build quality is really good. Of course, to adjust it, you have like these little metal tabs here. So that's an in indication right there that these are definitely going to last you a while, especially if you happen to be adjusting your headset quite often. Usually headsets where these are made of fully plastic tend to break pretty easily. So build quality, I'd easily give a 5 out of 5. Now, in terms of comfortness, honestly, these are really, really comfortable. I know there's been people who kind of been uh, picking between the old version or this one, and usually some of the minor complaints usually been like this little small padding you have on top of the head. It's just a little bit of thin padding compared to the previous version of the headset, but you do have a ton of cushion on the ear cuffs, as you can see. Now, honestly, even with these on, even with a little bit of padding right here, I don't feel any discomfort at all. So I could easily put these on my head. I could easily game for long hours of time. <laughs> Excuse me. I could easily game for 
hours at a time and I don't feel like you know I have to take these off compared to my previous headset which happens to be the Triton Ghost Recon Edition headset those features 5.1 surround set and even after a while it, it feels like like my ears are getting hot to where I have to take them off for these ones I don't feel that at all even with my large ears these feel extremely comfortable I don't feel like you know it's getting hot around the ears or anything like that even with the small padding on top I don't feel like any pressure there I mean I don't feel like it's like wow these are hurting the top of my head or anything like that like I said nothing at all no discomfort from these headsets that I'm getting like I said everyone's a bit different but for me I don't feel any discomfort at all even with the small padding on top all the padding over here even with after long hours extended time I don't feel like my ears are on fire or anything like that so in terms of comfort altogether I'd give that a 5 out of 5 next up is the microphone because you know if you're paying for a headset it's, it's got to have a microphone in some way and it better be a good microphone now the previous version of the headset featured in a microphone which extended out these ones on the other hand as you can see you don't have any type of mic that extends out at all the microphone is actually integrated into the headset there's just this little dot right here which indicates the microphone's a little bit hard to see but it is a tiny dot right there now I do have a friend of mine who also uses the same exact headset so I got to hear him talk using the headset and other people got to hear me talk using these headsets and honestly whether it's someone using the headset or you talking the actual audio quality coming from the headsets are really, really good. It was picture basically very clear. Everyone was able to hear me. Like I even did a test. I even got my previous headset, like I said, which is the Triton Ghost Recon ones. I used the microphone on that, used the microphone on these, and everyone said these ones sounded a lot, lot better. So microphone, I would have to give that a full five out of five. So if you're looking for something with a good microphone, then you're definitely in luck with these. Next up is features. Now this does feature a lot of, actually you know what, before we get to that, I did forget to mention one small detail, which is people who wear glasses. I mean, they're comfortable, but what about people who wear some type of glasses? Or in fact, for me, I like to wear gunners. Even if you wear glasses or gunners, these easily fit on top of your head and I don't feel any discomfort even with glasses on. Just make one tiny adjustment for me. Well, I'm good to go if these don't feel like wow these are putting a lot of pressure on my glasses or anything like that so if you wear some type of you know glass eyewear glasses gunners these do work perfectly so comfort wise still stays out of five out of five even if you wear some type of eyewear okay next up is the features these now these are basically a pulse headset which means it features something called a base impact so starting on the right hand side and you do have an indication on both ear cuffs letting you know that this is for the right side and this is for the left side. Now on the right hand side you feature what's called bass impact which I'll get to in just a second. You also have the mode button so you can switch from gaming mode, movies, music and more. And on the very bottom you have BSS on or off. Now bass impact is really really cool for me I'm the type of person who enjoys a lot of bass just something about the bass just feels really really good and of course the type of games I like to play happen to be first person shooter games such as Battlefield now when I had these cranked up all the way on max and someone tossed a grenade next to my per uh, to my character basically on the right hand side these were maxed out yeah that hurt I mean that, that's how loud and kind of you know what, what's the word I'm looking for that's how loud these tend to get in terms of base impact and of course at the same time also provides basically like a vibration control on your head as well it's kind of like if you took the vibration off the controllers put them in your head you're getting that same impact as well but the base impact is really really cool and for me I'm the type of person who has it almost all the way on max but it's re it's really hard to describe it honestly I mean you would have to actually wear these yourselves to get the idea of what I'm trying to go with but like I said if you try these in person if you're really good if you like a lot of bass then this is definitely a headset to go with now on the left hand side you also have a volume the mic mutes which every time you click it you'll hear a beep sound you also have an on or off because obviously these are a wireless headset which the battery life what I've been getting is about six to six and a half hours altogether which is not too long but with the PlayStation 4 you don't really have to charge these headsets up which is really cool. You also have the um, uh, what's the word I'm looking at you have the audio jack can't believe I lost words there 
and you also have a section to where you charge it up out as I mentioned you do not get a charging cable at all which I'm not sure what's with Sony doing that because every time they release a product like if you get a controller these headsets etc the PlayStation move they never include a charging cable what's with that Sony but you could use the same cable which was supplied for your PlayStation 3 and of course on the very back you also have the um, the power button on or off it's basically a little switch it's not really a button and of course you also have the sound wise for when people are talking so if you have it maxed out and it feels like wow these people are extremely loud you could easily tune that down very simple as that so even when these are on your head let's see there we go <laughs> left and right side even when these are on your head you could easily adjust the switches very very simple easy to get access to now how do you adjust that it's not like some switch or anything like that it's basically a volume slider it's really smooth and honestly i like it overall so in terms of microphone and all the features i give that a full five out of five right there now the next i want to talk about is the 7.1 virtual surround sound i mean do these actually work do you hear basically everything in every little location and honestly, yes. Now, these are the first time I've actually used a 7.1 surround sound gaming headset. Well, in this case, these are virtual surround sound. And honestly, I, I was just impressed because I mean, even me, I question, like, I don't get the big idea. It's like, why do people go crazy over a 7.1 surround sound headset? I mean, just get a headset, you're good to go. And boy, I wish I could just go back in time to slap myself for seeing stupid you know, crap like that. But with the virtual surround sound, the surround sound is just crazy. As I stated, I love playing Battlefield and just hearing every little detail on the Battlefield is just amazing. For example, let's go ahead and talk about choppers and jets within the game. I could easily pinpoint it with just me sitting in my chair going, yeah, there's a chopper right behind me over here. Uh, there's a jet flying right overhead. It's crazy stuff like that. You could hear guns over in the distance. Okay, I hear a gun battle going on in this location all right there's someone shooting at me from this location there's someone running behind me you could hear basically details for every little section within the game all the way around you full 360 7.1 i mean it, like it's hard to describe it you have to actually use the headset to get an idea of what i'm talking about but you could hear where everything is coming from within the game it is crazy I love it and honestly I just fell in love with these right away as soon as I heard the surround sound for the first time I was like oh my god why did I not why did I not get these to begin with but like I said the, the surround sound is just crazy and I would give that a full 10 out of 10 if I could go higher than that then I would but like I said if I were to rate the surround sound at least out of a 10 it would be a 10 out of 10 right then and there now, as I stated, you could use these with your PlayStation 3, which is indicated on the box it comes with. You could also use it with your PlayStation 4, which I do have a separate video showing you guys how to set it up with your PlayStation 4. It's very simple. All you do is you plug in the headset, which I do have my controller standing by. Let's see, basically plug into the headphone jack, like so. You take the other end plug it into the bottom of your PlayStation 4 DualShock 4 controller. Simple as that. You hold down the button and you basically go to the audio settings, uh, switch it to where all the audio coming from your TV is now going through your headset and boom you're ready to go and even what's cool is that the microphone does work. Now I don't know by the time you see this video if Sony has released an update to support the USB dongle or if you need to have this in while using your PlayStation 4. I usually have mine plugged in. Like I said the surround sound does work and the microphone does work as well. And the fact that you could use this with any device that features an audio jack is a great bonus as well. I've used it with my PlayStation Vita. And even the, the, the noise cancellation on the ear cuffs are really good. But just basically every little thing about this headset, I love. Now, on a scale of 1 to 10, what's my final verdict for these headsets? Is it worth getting? Are these cheaply made? What not? And honestly, if I were to give these on a scale of 1 to 10, I would easily give the PlayStation Pulse a wireless gaming headset Elite Edition a full 10 out of 10. I would highly recommend it. Like I said, if you're looking for these particular headsets, I highly recommend an online retailer. But in the end, a full 10 out of 10 from me. But anyways, I'm Sir James from GamerFusion.com. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave that in the comment section down below. And remember, GamerFusion empowers your gaming.